You know, things talk to you. Whoever built that item, there's a part of them in that item, and you can feel it. I'm a collector of everything from the Old West. It's in me, that's just what I do. It trips my trigger. <laughs> Me and my dad are infatuated with just digging, picking, investigating, researching, and uncovering the people, the places, and the things of the true frontier. And the story, if it's not been told, we want to tell the story. This is our quest for the West. When you find something, you immediately get an adrenaline rush. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, man. This is, this is you know what that is? That, that smack of uh, Buffalo Bill's Wild West shows. This is Annie Oakley style. Every dent, ding has a tale to tell. And if there's a way to find a pot of gold at the end of the trail, we'll pay top dollar to add it to our collection. Our last name is Swap. We spell it with two P's. Some of the family spelled it with one P, and we call them the Too Lazy to Pee Swap. <laughs> We travel throughout the West looking for historic towns, camps, and other locations guaranteed to have the coolest stuff and iconic stories. Hi, can I help you? Just looking at this camera shop, you wouldn't really realize what's in that building. And there's this secret stairway that goes up to rooms. This is the old, old hotel. This place was the old movie town. They did a lot of old Western movies here, and it was called Little Hollywood for years and years. They put up a lot of, a lot of movie stars. Clark Gable stayed in one of the rooms. Yeah, boy, if this thing could talk. So this piano belonged to my husband's family. I have no idea how much it's worth. A piano to me is like a screeching violin. Pianos yeah. suck, I hate pianos, you know? <laughs> they're heavy, they're bulky, they don't hold their value very well. I think my ancestors would go in a bar and they'd shoot the piano player. <laughs> <laughs> There's history behind all items. Some are interesting, some are not so. My husband believes that it's a military saddle. Yeah, I've got some news for you. It's not a, a real collector's item, it's not military. You can buy these for 20 bucks. What's the old saying? If it, Just because it's old, it may not be gold. I could come across an item that might be worth just a few dollars, but just the history of it makes it priceless. Hey, we're down here, this is the shop. No liability once you step through the door. So I collect handcuffs, we've got knives. My wife told me I couldn't get any more safes because I wouldn't sleep until I got in them. This one took almost five years to get in it. I have five sheep wagons. This was a sheep camp built by some hippies. This over here, this is a paddle wheel that came off of the Maverick movie set. In the first of the movie, James Garner comes in riding on a stagecoach. This is one of the wheels. So I will have people contact me. Hey, Dad. If they find something, decide that I may want to buy it. You know, it's, it happens all the time. He'll go into town and say, hey, it looks like a nice gun. I'd like to buy it. I mean, they then question themselves. Well, Eldon wants it. I don't want to sell it now. And it's in the store for sale. So my grandpa and I were cleaning out his attic, and we found this box, and it has some items in it, but I don't know tons about it, and I heard that you might have some information. Eldon is absolutely the Google before Google. My head was always really big. I had to have a custom-made football helmet when I was in high school. This is a 45, 45 long Colt. And these are movie blanks. These are for the movies. That is nice. If this could be tied to a famous person, this could be worth more money. Oh. Would you let us take the grips off? Yeah. There's a name here, there's a date, 1936. It says Leroy Mason. Big movie star. Hey, Leroy Mason would have been the quasi-essential bad guy, kind of like Danny Trejo. Back in the early days of movies, it was back in the 30s and early 40s. That's a big deal. This likely could have been his gun. And the first thing you got to do now is find a picture of him holding, holding the gun. That's, that's, that's that identify simple. it. Being an engineer myself, I look for hard evidence and facts to verify the stories. Fury is another movie poster. I can see the gun, but it's too blurry. Let me find another one. Oh, here's a really good picture of him right here holding, holding the gun. Check this out. It has the grips, just like these. Ooh. Look at the turn up the Let's same see. way. Match it up right here. Okay. Look, look, there look it is right there. The look at the wear. Right there. That's it. Right there. Look right there. That mat, this notch. Look at the notch. One, two, three. That's the gun. That's it. It's the gun? That's the gun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is Leroy Mason. What is the gun worth just as it is with the connection? I would say $10,000. 10,000, okay. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Would you like to sell this item? Hmm, 